Hey, 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 my name is Tiffany Aliche, much better known as the Budget Nista. I teach women like you what they should have learned about money at home or at school, but likely did not. Today, we're gonna talk about car buying. Yes, I am the go-to girl for my friends when they're gonna buy a car, and today I'm rolling with you. So, are you ready? Are you ready to car shop more responsibly? Let's go. So let's talk about what you need to do before you head into the dealership. You have to really get your credit straight. Your credit is really going to impact what your interest rate is gonna be, and your interest rate is gonna impact what your monthly payment is gonna be, and your monthly payment is gonna impact how much the car is gonna cost you in full. You wanna ideally have a credit score of 740 or better, because 740 is the beginning of what we call perfect credit. With perfect credit, you can command the best interest rate, and when you get a great interest rate, that means you get a lower monthly payment, and when you get a lower monthly payment, that means you pay less for the total car. Here are two things you can do now to raise your credit score. I want you to pay down as much debt as you can because that's 30% of your score, how much you actually owe. And I want you to make sure you're making on-time payments at at least the minimum, because that's 35% of your credit score. So once you get your credit just a little bit higher, every point counts, then we can move on to savings. I want you to save because you should always put down a down payment when you're purchasing a car if you're not gonna pay for it cash. It would be awesome if you could buy a car cash, but most of us can't do that. So no down payment is a no-no. So now we have your credit straight, now we have your savings, now it's time to finance if you're gonna finance your car. Here's the rule of thumb when it comes to financing. The shorter the term, the better the term. When you're financing, I want you to remember that the goal is to think about the total cost of the car, which is much more important than what you're gonna pay monthly. Because if you really wanted to grow wealth, you're really wanting to live a richer life as a woman, you have to ask yourself, how much money am I spending overall, not just what I'm spending monthly? So are you ready? Let's go. Yeah.